now we are discussing the time complexity of searching and sorting algorithms we know that there are multiple algorithms for the searching and the sorting if we are going for the searching there are main popular algorithms are linear search and binary search but which to apply so based upon their complexity we apply these algorithms we say that binary search is better but how we can say it is better because binary search take less time for searching and that searching time is called the time complexity so if the time complexity of any algorithm is better better means less then we say that algorithm is better one so first of all we are going to start the time complexity of the searching algorithm so here in the first table we can see that they are saying time complexity of searching algorithm we know that whenever there are some elements which are given to us and we are searching them this is called the searching algorithm let's suppose we are having certain elements like 7 6 5 2 9 and 22 so these are certain elements out of that we have to search we know that these all elements are unsorted means they are not into the sorted order that's why we can apply the linear search here we should understand one thing whenever we are going to search a element and we just found the element on very first search means the first step we got the element that is called the best case means we got the element in a first pass or maybe whenever we are going on searching the elements let us suppose that there are 10 elements and we apply five times searching means we have do the five comparison approximately then just like there are some elements and in the middle we got that element so that is called the average average means average case and if we are going to scan all the elements and then we found the element at the last place then that is called the worst case so for finding the complexity we has to focus on three cases best case average case and the worst case if we talk about the examination then they are mostly focusing on the worst case or even in the general life we also work on the worst case complexity because we know that we should see the worst phase of the algorithm that if the elements we are giving they are not in the proper position and we has to apply the search then where we can go so in every place we our main focus will be on the worst case so even in the searching or if we are applying the sorting then the worst case complexity is more important if somebody ask you what is the time complexity of this one you should always give the answer in the worst case not into the best case or the average case so here if we see that there are four columns available one is of algorithm then is the best case complexity then is the average case and then is the worst case so our main focus is on the worst case best case means on a very first go we find the element let us suppose we are applying the linear search and we has to search element let us suppose we are applying the seven element we want to search so in one comparison we search that element that's why big o one is the best case complexity well big o stands for less than means less than equal to means the complexity will be approximately one comparison now talking about the average case average case here big o n means it can scan approximately n elements not the one and the worst case if we are going to find the worst case complexity then there we have to search all the elements let us suppose that 20 elements are given to us and we are doing the 20 comparison to find out the last element that's why the worst case complexity of linear search is big o n similarly if we are going on the binary search here binary search the best case complexity is same as the linear search which is big o of 1 means in the single go we can find the element means if the element is at the middle position the middle one is our element that is the best case but if you talk about the average case and worst case it is log n so big o log n is the worst case and the average case now we should understand one thing that this log n is obviously less than the n we should see that if we check out then big o of 1 is always very less 
then afterward we are having which is big o of log n which come afterward then again if we are going further then we are having big o of n again if we are going further then we are having big o of n log n so that is coming afterward then again if we go further then it is big o of n square so this way the complexity is going to increase so starting from big o of 1 it go and even it is going to the n cube and more further so complexity always go like this so if we are going to compare the linear search and the binary search in the worst cases you can see that the binary search is having big o log n so this one is taking less time so binary search is better than the linear search now we are going to discuss the time complexity of the sorting algorithm so there is a second table in which we are having the various sorting algorithm we know that sorting means whenever some elements are given and we has to sort them into ascending or the descending order so that is the time complexity of sorting algorithm here now in the first column we are having the algorithm then second is the best case then average case and the worst case as we know that we has to focus on the worst case more because we have to see the worst phase of the algorithm means how much maximum time it can take for sorting if we see the insertion sort here in the insertion sort the best case is big o n and the average case is big o n square and if we talk about the selection sort here we are having all the complexity same big o n square into best case average case and the worst case then if we talk about the bubble sort bubble sort also take big o n square into best case average case and the worst case then coming to the quick sort here in the quick sort it takes big o n log n into best case and the average case but in the worst case it take big o n square big o n square you can assume that whenever we are applying two for loops into the nested one is the four and another is four inside that then it becomes the n square of the complexity so talking about the heap sort here heap sort take big o n log n into best case average case and the worst case similarly the merge sort if we see it takes big o n log n into best case average case and the worst case if somebody ask us which is the best sorting algorithm then on the basis of the complexity we can see that heap sort and the merge sort these are the best algorithm because they are going to take the less time complexity and many of the time you will see that merge sort algorithm name will come because in many of the examples or in the examination they are going to ask ha huh, which is the best then merge and the heap they are the best one because in the worst case they are taking the less time you can even see that insertion sort selection sort bubble sort and the quick sort they are taking n square but if we talk about heap sort and the merge sort they are taking n log n and n log n is even less than the n square that's why these are better if we see the time complexity there are two algorithms of sorting whose best case and worst case complexity are quite different if we see here talking about the insertion sort then in the best case it is taking big o n but if you talk about the worst case it is taking big o n square similarly if we talk about the quick sort so quick sort also take in the best case big o n log n and in the worst case it is take big o n square so here in insertion and quick sort their complexities are changing into best and the worst case but if you talk about the other algorithms their best case average and the worst case complexities are same so that is how we can compare the algorithms based upon the time complexity time complexity basically define means how much time algorithm take for working so this is all the complexity of searching and the sorting algorithms